Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, I've got my chicken fajitas in the oven, just keeping warm. And I'm going to go ahead and get my um, cabbage casserole ready. And the only thing we're going to do with that, this is so easy too. I've took one head of cabbage and I've chopped it up in little chunks. We're going to take about a tablespoon or two of the olive oil. Just to line this pan with it. And then I've got about three or four tablespoons of butter here. So I'm going to put the butter in there as well. If you mix olive oil and butter, it just tastes so amazing. And I really am going for this buttery taste with the cabbage. See that butter's all melted in there with the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this cabbage in there. I have the other half that I have to cut really quick. And I'll show you. Let me just turn this a little bit and you can watch. So when I cut this, I just got the half of cabbage. I'll cut it in half again. And then I cut it this way and then I chunk it. Super easy. I just don't want really super big pieces. Cabbage is so good for you. And this is another dish. I mean, there's only two of us eating. So, I mean, I, I give some to our neighbor. Um, She's an elderly lady, and I, I cook for her a lot and give some to her. And the rest, I meal prep with it. I just freeze it, and then another night when I don't feel like cooking, it's already cooked. All right. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to cook this down for a couple minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up one Vidalia onion. Vidalias are those large sweet onions. But I want this to cook for a tiny little bit first and get a little bit softer before I put that in there. Okay, so we've got this cooked down quite a bit. You don't want to cook it all the way because it's going to cook in the oven. So I'm going to add these onions. There's something about onions and sweet butter mixed with the cabbage that is just so yummy. And you want to use salted butter for this. Okay, so then I'm going to cook this probably in about another five minutes. Covered. We're going to cover about four or five minutes, I think. Um, so next what I'm going to do... Let me just clean up this mess really quick. All right. So what we're going to get ready is once this is ready, we're going to put this in a casserole dish. And I'm going to use, this is equivalent to a can. This is um, organic cream of chicken soup. I like to use this better than the regular, but organic. I use organic wherever I can. But you definitely don't have to. And this goes on top of your cabbage. Okay. So organic cream of chicken soup. You want to go bye-bye with Daddy? Go ahead. Okay. So there it is. There's one can of soup. And we are going to add a third of a cup of mayonnaise to that. I just got this new mayonnaise.
Debbie's in that. We're going to mix that up. I have to get up super early tomorrow because we have a huge turkey. I don't know why I got such a huge turkey, but we really like turkey leftovers. We'll be eating sandwiches for a week. <laughs> okay, so we're going to mix this together. This is your cream of chicken soup and your mayonnaise. One thing I want to do here while this is cooking with the onions is I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to add the coarse ground pepper. Probably about a teaspoon and a half. And then we'll just do a teaspoon of the kosher salt. And we're going to add some tastefully simple garlic garlic. Instead, I chose that instead of putting in um, the fresh garlic. It tastes the same, and you have to use so much less. It's amazing. If you've never tried their spices, you definitely have to try them. There we go. So this is just about ready to put in my casserole dish, actually. So I'm going to turn that off. And... We're going to add roughly about a cup of cheddar cheese into this. Of course, I don't measure, but half of this bag is a cup. All right. We're going to mix that all together. And then there's one more ingredient to this. Let me just grab it really quick. or Ritz crackers, whichever one you prefer. We like townhouse here. And I'm just gonna crunch up enough in there to make it look like a crunchy topping. You don't wanna crunch them too, you wanna leave them kind of big pieces. Just kind of crunch them up like that. Probably about a half a sleeve will be good for this. And mix that all up. There we go. So that's the topping. Let me grab my casserole dish. Okay. So now we're just gonna add this cabbage into the casserole dish. I thought about doing rice with the, um, the fajitas, but I have so many vegetables I need to use up. <laughs> so it's kind of like, hmm, what else can we make? I try to stay away from the carbs lately, so this is much better. There's not as many carbs in this as there is with rice. Okay. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to dish this over the top. I don't have rights to the music playing in the background, but... I really like to listen to music when I cook. There we go. And just make sure that's smeared all over the top of it. We're not mixing it up, we're just smearing it over the top. If you want to, you can add a little bit more cheese and crackers to the top. Just make it a little more crunchy. I wouldn't do many though. Just do a little handful of cheese on the top. This recipe came from partially from a recipe that I had found, and then I kind of just made it my own. So 
They're really good. So we're going to bake this at 350 for about 25 minutes because everything's really cooked. You just want to make it so it's bubbly and a little bit brown on top. And this is amazing. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you soon. Have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow.